Hello everyone, today we have a 2020 Toyota Sienna XLE. It's a limited premium edition. It does have a rebuilt title. It had some cosmetic damage here to the front, but it has passed our 150 point inspection and it has also passed the Utah State Safety Inspection. So as you can see, we've gotten everything taken care of and buttoned up the way that it needs to be. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and lower this hood and take you for a tour of the vehicle. It does have a sunroof. And luggage rack. Take a good shot of the wheels. Tail lights. I mean, it does have a third row, all wrapped in gray leather. You can see right there, there is a spot right there for a cup holder and whatnot for that second row but you also have this option over here on the left to where you can add that a seat and turn that into a seat instead of a cup holder so you can fit another person in there and Toyota has really done a great job in creating and utilizing all the space possible so there's that's very deep right there we also have another power supply here on the right and lighting. This has a push button tailgate. So you push the button and it goes down for you. It has a low profile antenna. As you can see, it is the XLE edition. I have driven this before, so I know that all four windows do roll down. And it does have, right here in the back, I'll have to open this other door and show you. Once again, power doors. And it does have these screens for the windows that can come down and create shade there in the back. Again, all this is light gray, wrapped in leather. There's the cup holder that I'd referred to earlier that can become a seat. Very cool feature. All kinds of space. Right here you have additional power supplies. So these are USBs and that one you can plug right into. This is also a cup holder. These do have window controls on the doors that can be disabled from the driver. And these also have screens that can lift up and down in the windows. Go ahead and close this up. I pulled that twice, that was my mistake. Pull it once and it closes. Okay. Here is the VIN. Driver's side door has all the window controls, also the window locks and the power locks. So all this can be controlled from the driver's side. And then you also have your mirrors that you can control from the driver's side. Here, this unlocks your gasoline door. This unlocks your hood and pops it. This is your optional power door off, so that'll turn the power door on or off. So you can do it manually. Your traction control and your rear vent control. Here are your seat controls. 
This van has ridiculously comfortable seats. Go ahead and hop in. Okay. I have it running because it's really hot outside and I wanted you to be able to see the mileage on it and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a startup sequence so you can see the display. I'll go ahead and turn it off. Then I'll go ahead and turn it on. I do have the lights on right now. Go ahead and turn those off. This is how you turn the lights on auto. We're gonna turn them on auto. So you see that light went off. It's also telling me that I'm not buckled up. And that's so that I can give you a tutorial. Okay. And down here we have some of the controls that you can toggle right here on the steering wheel. Right now we have I'll jump over here, you can control the radio. You can control your lane drift assist. So this, this is a sensor that tells you if you're drifting out of your lane. Okay, we don't have any messages or warnings right now. That's a good thing. Let's see, there's your stereo. And you can also jump over here so that you can, this is basically a blind spot monitor um, this t this monitors the distance between you and another vehicle. It'll it'll give you a warning if you get too close. Obviously, here's your trip computer. There's the brightness. We're gonna change that brightness. There we go. Down here, you can control your push to talk, your phone calls, volume higher, lower, your mode, and also your radio, which we were just doing. So over here, you can also control your radio with this interface. You have a CD, it's your home, your menu that you can press and show you all of your audio options. Uh, you have XM also. So AM, FM, Bluetooth, you can also move where these are in here. It's for your presets, your station list, which I'm gonna let you choose all your stations. You don't care about mine. Okay, so right here we have a scan to where you can just scan all the different radio stations and get them in there. Okay, and then also you have your apps that you can jump to. Okay, so here's your notifications that we talked about earlier. You don't have any of those. And here's your remote connection. Oh, this is not available on this vehicle. That's not a big deal. Okay, and then here's your maps. Now, your maps actually go through your phone. So we're not going to connect my phone to it. We'll want you to connect yours. So when you connect your phone to it, then the maps will actually go through your phone. Okay. So, the more you dive into the world, there's your stereo. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down for the sake of this video. Uh, here's your front and rear defrost, which I don't want to defrost them because it's very hot outside. Here's your temperature. I can either set that to lower or higher. You can see right here it changes as I adjust that. You can do it on either the driver's or passenger side independently, or you can just synchronize them. Your rear temperatures, so if somebody's cold and back, you can work with that. Here's your rear fan. And you come down here, then you have your heated seats for your driver and your passenger. You also have your USB port and your auxiliary input. Uh, to your stereo, and then this is another 12 volt port. This is just stowage, and then down below this, let's see if I can get it. Yep, we also have another power port right here. There are your cup holders and your glove compartment. Got a hand sanitizer in it right now because of the COVID 19 uh, pandemic that we're facing in the world. 
All right, and then we come down here where you push this button and it opens up this large stove in the middle. And then you come up here overhead. You have your overhead lighting, so um, you just press them on like that just for your distress signal. And these are for your side doors and then you have your back door. And then this allows you to have your lights either come on all the time or only when the doors open or off all the time. And then here is your power window, or excuse me, that is your sunroof. And you operate that with this. You can either vent it or have it go all the way back. We'll just go ahead and close that up so that we don't forget to put it back together. And there you have the Toyota Sienna. Let's go ahead and hop out so you can hear a run. It's warning me that I have the key fob outside the vehicle. You can see this is the key fob. That way you don't lock your keys in your car or have any issues like that. But this is the 2020 Toyota Sienna. For more inventory, visit us at tjchapmanauto.com.